the problem is when we judge people, right? We reduce them to a handful of characteristics. You kind of put them in a, 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 a you bottleneck them, let's say. I don't even think that's the right term. You put them in some kind of um, box where now you have an opinion of them based on five or six things that you probably didn't like. And usually I think that where we get trapped by judgment is when it's a crutch we lean on because we feel inadequate in some sense. And I do think most judgments stem from that state of being or state of mind. And nobody wants to admit that, right? Negative thoughts arise when we measure ourselves against someone else and doubt our own self-worth, right? So and it could also be even subconsciously, but yes. Yeah, for and for sure. the most part, it is, I think, for most people, right? We judge the talents, characteristics, or even the blessings another person has in order to make ourselves feel better about our own lives or where we find ourselves, which ultimately ends up harming us. In many, many ways. So, as you said, I think it's important that we clarify at the outset what we're speaking about, because I think the focus of our discussion today is what we th- believe are very detrimental, personally detrimental acts of judgment that we do towards other people. And like you said, in life, of course, there are times we have to make decisions, whether it's to change a lane, to marry somebody, or to buy a car. All of those necessitate judgment. But it would be a mistake to allow the maybe 3 to 5% of the times that we are using judgment when it is necessary, to allow us to forget about the other 95 or 97 percent of the time that we're using judgment unnecessarily. And I think that's probably the first key. What is the reason that you're judging? Does it, is there a decision that you need to make? Is there something different about your life that you have to decide one way or the other? Let's be honest, what we're, especially what we're talking about today, is the 95 percent of the time. When judging another person negatively has no positive effect, no necessary reason, just the human nature. And no, I think on some level it makes us feel better. Yes, absolutely. And where that stems from is not from a good place. No. It stems from a place of lack. It stems from a place of jealousy. And judgment of yourself, actually. Also judgment of yourself. And one of the things that the Kabbalists say, which I think is so powerful, because what, what, what I hope that we accomplish, for at least some of our listeners today, is that they really, really take stock of their judgment. And in the words of Bob Newhart that you often quote, stop it. 